What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be reviewing the printer I use, the Adventure 5M by Flashforge. This is Amazon's most affordable 3D printing option and gives you great bang for your buck with plenty of options for upgrades down the line. I love mine and hope this helps you decide if the Adventure 5M is right for you. This printer, starting at under $300 on Amazon for the standard model, claims high speed, high quality printing with almost any material you could think of. I could have sprung for the Pro version for an extra $150, which comes with a pre built enclosure and camera, as well as a sleeker design. However, the standard version has kits for these upgrades, so I opted to do it myself. I've always had a passion for engineering, but I haven't done anything like 3D printing in years, so I figured what's the worst that could happen, and I ordered one for myself. The Adventure 5M was pretty much ready to go out of the box, just remove some screws to free the build plate. I may have been doing something wrong because none of my Allen wrenches would fit on the front two screws, so I just use a pair of pliers to free them. Once that was done, startup took all of 15 minutes to have my first test cube off the printer. This thing is easy to use. It has a 4.3 inch touchscreen that is crisp and intuitive with auto bed leveling. It does have some preloaded prints available for you, Wi-Fi and USB printing available. They really made it so that if you have a beginner skill set or an advanced skill set, you can really make the most out of this printer. They do include a small amount of burnt titanium PLA for you to run your first test prints, but I recommend getting at least two one kilogram spools when you order your printer. You'll be glad you did, trust me. Let's talk the stuff that matters. Noise, speed, and quality. This thing is loud. Within the first week of having it, I had to make a noise-proof enclosure to maintain my sanity. When you order this printer, I highly recommend having a dedicated space for it. Think of areas like your garage, a closet, somewhere concealed and away from main living spaces that you can keep it to reduce noise. If you can't make your own cabinet, it's understandable, but if you can go that route, I highly recommend it. As far as speed goes, this thing is fast. It maxes out at about 600 millimeters per second, but most Orca settings are going to have it dialed closer to 300 millimeters per second, which is still breakneck speeds and allows you to get small prints off in under 30 minutes. When looking at quality, personally, I'm impressed, but I don't have much to compare it with. Pet G prints always come out super smooth, minimal layer lines, and almost ready to prime and paint right away. PLA is a little bit different, I think the speeds are a little bit higher in the settings, I honestly haven't checked. The layer lines are more pronounced, but still, with just a couple seconds of sanding, it's ready to be primed and painted within probably 20-30 minutes of coming off of the printer. Overall, I could not be happier with this printer. Some pros include fast and easy setup. It's able to be upgraded with a camera or an enclosure down the line. It works with pretty much any slicer software. Orca Slicer is what I use. It's fast, spitting out high quality benchies in less than 20 minutes. This thing really moves. And the nozzle has a super easy click snap design that makes cleaning or changing them as easy as it gets. Some complaints or some cons here would be the filament loading being in the back is kind of a pain. It's a minor inconvenience at worst. The Flashforge app could be better, the user interface can be less than straightforward at times, and every now and again I experience bugs like time-lapse captures not working. And my biggest complaint is no one is specifically clear on what you need to print ASA filament. I bought some for my Flashforge and have yet to use it because I'm not sure if my nozzle is going to burn out if I need a better build plate. Um, they're not super helpful on their website about this, it might just be a me problem though. 3D printing has so many applications that it's hard to justify not buying your own. You can print your standard models or minifigs if that's your thing, or you can make all sorts of useful items that have practical applications like topographical maps, mold boxes for silicone, kitchen and bathroom accessories, and plenty of other items. There are free files out there for almost anything you can think of that make it so you don't have to 3D model your own items if you don't want to or lack the skill set. I have quite a few free prints available on my printables. The link is in the description if you want to check that out after the video. If you do want to get started 3D modeling your own prints, it couldn't be easier today. 
with programs like Fusion 360, Blender, Tinkercad, and others out there for free, non-commercial use, the world truly is your oyster. All in all, I would recommend the Adventure 5M to any 3D printing enthusiast. It doesn't matter if your skill set is beginner or advanced, you will appreciate how much thought went into this design and how versatile and fast it can be. I've linked the printer in the description as well as some of the upgrade kits I recommend. Happy printing, and as always, please don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you next time.